Hello guys and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we investigated around the school. Not much happened, but in terms of our social life, we helped out Yuko and Shihiro when they needed us the most. And in this episode, I have quite a few things I want to talk about. First of all, today in game is June 4th, and that is the birthday of Maki Sonomura from, Perso from the original Persona trilogy. Uh, so happy birthday to her since she's from the original trilogy. We can go ahead and go on TV. And who else is there but Trish? Hi, I'm Trish from for today's installment of Who's Who. Today's subject is a 20-year-old lady with a beauty mark near her mouth. Now, Maki does have a beauty mark near her mouth. Um, I don't think she's 20, though. I'm pretty sure she's, like, 27-ish? She's said to be an excellent therapist. I wish I could schedule a session. Next news is pain, pain, go away. Now, her, her being a therapist is sort of a continuation of her character arc from... Uh, Persona 1. I won't spoil what that is because, you know, I don't want to spoil games that I haven't played on the channel yet. Uh, but one day when we eventually do a Persona 1 Let's Play, then I'll... then it'll make a bit more sense. How's your research into the ghost story progressing? Great! Yes. Uh... C'est magnifique. Keep up the good work. Man, let's talk about something. Don't you get tired of these rumors? I sure do. I see. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, good luck with your research. Anyways, as mentioned previously, we can go up to the rooftop and uh, get the vegetables. Once you harvest your tomatoes, you get uh, free seedlings. But as you will remember, we bought some buff potato sprouts. Uh, these take 12 days to fully grow, but hopefully they'll be a bit better than the... Uh, what's it called? The tomatoes. Can't believe I forgot the name of a tomato for a second, but... You know what? Let's keep rolling. Could hang out with a monk, or we could continue working on our courage. No, let's continue working on our courage. I'll save the monk for later in the game. Once we could sort of knock out that whole thing at, in one go. We can't do that much for courage right now, so... We could work on intelligence. Let's work on charm. Hey, level 4 charm! Very nice. We're up to smooth, so we could sort of start Tanaka's social link if we wanted to, but there's another barrier that we can't get past at the moment, so... When we can do Tanaka's social link, I'll be sure to mention it. Hey, you remember what we're doing today? Gotta share our findings about the ghost stories tonight. I don't know what to tell you, Takaba. I... I've, I've learned nothing. Yep, I heard some pretty interesting stories while asking around. Anyways, don't forget about tonight, okay? Oh, well, today's Friday. Did you two ask around like we agreed? Huh? Were we supposed to do something by today? I told you! I know, I know! I'm kidding! Man, you've got such a short temper. Fine, then we'll meet in the lounge after school. Okay. Don't forget. Yes, ma'am. Guys, please, do you know anything about the ghost stories that have been going around? I don't want to disappoint Taka, but please. One last chance to go around the school and learn, at, like, anything at all. Because I don't feel like there's... We've learned anything at this point. I'm pretty sure there's legitimately no one to talk to. <laughs> Otagiri is free today, and I have an Emperor Persona. Do you want to further Tomochika's social link because he's closer to being done with? Or do, do, we, or do we want to do Otagiri's because, you know, the, the most behind? I'll do Otagiri's. Kind of fits into the current theming of investigating and stuff like that. Somewhere with the student council, the hours flew by as I worked hard on my tasks. I don't see Odagiri. Is he absent today? Um, no. I'm pretty sure he came to school today. Then where is he? Probably busy playing detective asshole. Ah, so this is what Fushimi was telling me about. I see. Well, his intentions are good, so you can't really blame him. But I understand how you feel. Uh, you're all free to leave now. Good work today. You hear me? 
I want to see evidence, smart guy. I don't need evidence. I already know everything about you. Like how you were arrested for beating up that guy in the park who snitched on you, right? Whoa, he's still at it? <laughs> this is the third time today. My boyfriend was so pissed after he was accused. This guy's really asking for it. Keeping quiet will only make things worse for you. If it's really not you, then give me some names. And don't worry, I won't tell anyone. You have my word as a member of the disciplinary committee. Better fuck off, asshole. This guy look like, looks like he's about to hit Otagiri. Knock it off. Oh. God, what a shitty day. Don't think I'll just let you get away with that. Oh, hey, what is it? Did you need something from me? Best option to say here is looks like you're hard at work. Bet I am. If we turn a blind eye here, there's no stopping this from happening again. And once it spirals out of control, there will be nothing we can do. We should nip this problem in the bud while we still can. I know what people think of me. Then again, those who fight for justice have always butted heads with others. History speaks for itself. So let my actions serve as a warning to other offenders. A sensible person like you should understand. Right? It's like Code Gear starting to trust me. Like we're becoming better friends. I'm going to keep at it for now. You should head home before it gets dark. As we agreed on Monday, we'll now hold a meeting to discuss what we've learned. Wow, you're really into this. Of course I am. I got lots of good info. And it turns out there was no angry ghost involved. Oh, so that's what's important, huh? First off, let's talk about how this rumor got started. The girl was found on the school grounds, so it does match the ghost story on that point. But why did the rumor spread so fast if this was the first time anything happened? So, we didn't learn too much. Uh, one thing that we did learn is that there were three victims uh, from that one guy. So let's say that. Correct. But yeah, I was surprised when I found out. After that first incident, the exact same thing happened to two other students. All three victims had to be hospitalized. No wonder people thought it was a ghost. Okay, moving on. The victims were all in different classes, and at first glance, they don't seem to be connected, but they did have one thing in common. Anyone know what it was? What is this, a quiz show? Do you know? What did all three victims have in common? So the, the correct answer to this one is they hung out together. Yep, that's right. Not just once or twice, either. They all got in with a bad crowd and were always out late. Considering they all ended up the same way, it can't just be a coincidence. So, to find out what happened, we're gonna do some field research. What? Field research? Yep, there's one place where all three victims were regulars. Whoa, hang on. You're not talking about that spot behind Port Island Station, are you? Oh, you know about it? Dude, you can't go there. I've heard all kinds of nasty rumors about that place. Oh, really? Well, then all the more reason we should go together. You're coming with, right? Of course. Now we're talking. Oh, man. I don't know about this. That place is seriously bad news. Do we really have to go there? Up until now, all we've done is follow orders. Isn't it about time we start thinking for ourselves? I know what you mean, but... Man, you have to say it like that. I guess I don't have a choice, do I? 
Then it's settled. We'll go tomorrow night, so plan accordingly. We've all agreed to go somewhere shady tomorrow night. Seems like you were digging for info too, Yuki-kun. You answered all my questions correctly. Here, you can have this. It's a little prize for keeping your promise. So yeah, we didn't learn too much from our investigation, but we were able to piece together some of the basics. And through looking up a guide, we were also able to piece together some of the basics, but that's fine. We got a cool item out of it. Hmm. Greatly appreciate. I'm impressed that you've been able to gather so much information in such a short amount of time. Hmm? What are you planning this time? Don't do anything too crazy. Alright, All right, enough's enough. Tomorrow I'm going to put an end to Junpei's stupid believe it or don't. You're not too freaked out about all this, right Yuki-kun? Uh, Junpei's the freaked out one. <sighs> yeah, he's always freaked out, don't worry about it. <laughs> so... I heard people gather a couple times a month. The baddest of all the bad get together. It looks like a reunion for a bunch of ex-convicts. And apparently they're gonna be there tomorrow. Isn't that really bad? What if we run into them? Hmm. Uh, interesting thing is today is the birthday of Persona 5's Goro Akechi, the second detective prince. You know, he's a pretty important character in that game. In 2009, when this game takes place, he'd be 11 years old. Which, it's very funny to think about the passage of time, because Persona 1 takes place before the cast of Persona 5 were even born. Which is very weird to think about. Anyways, we could hang out with the monk, at, as always, but I'm gonna go ahead and work on our courage stat. I have to remember that I have plans tonight. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Three teenagers going into a shady alley where tons of shady people gather to try to ask information about supernatural occurrences. How are you feeling, Junpei? Dude, Yukiton is taking this way too seriously. Why did I open my big mouth? Hey, Yuki-kun, don't forget about today, okay? Who do we got? Ooh, Chihiro or Yuko. Hmm. Have to make a tough decision here. You know what, I'll have their messages try to win me over. Sup? Sup, Coach Yuki, lol, and then smiley face. It's about time to supervise the kids again. If you can make it, I'll ask permission to use the practice field, so let me know, okay? I have a favor to ask. Oh gosh, it's a, it's like so much text for an instant message. Hello, Yuki-san. I wanted to ask this of you you in person, but can not summon the courage this time? Can I borrow your attention after classes? There's something I'd like to, like to talk to you about, but in front of the student council room as usual. Thank you. Hmm, Chihiro does seem more anxious, but you, we do see Yuko less. You know what, I'm hanging out with Yuko, that's final. I'm gonna, I don't want to waste too much time thinking about this stuff, so I'm gonna hang out with her and that's that. Oh, Yuki-kun, are you busy today? I was thinking of coaching so, uh, those kids some more, they were really looking forward to it. Great, thanks. I did a bunch of research on my end for this, so let's give them a real workout. We only have so much time to train here, so you have to practice on your own if you want to win. Yeah, we can do that. Good. And don't forget, know your limits and make sure you stretch properly. Oh, why don't you give them some advice, too? You guys got this. Yeah, but don't forget to stay focused till the end. Now listen, no matter what, think positive and don't give in to fear. Kids went home after finishing their training. Those kids are going to challenge the 6th graders soon. Apparently, the winners will get to use the schoolyard. Earlier, they asked me to write the challenge letter for them. A little worried, actually. Well, not just about the race, but also about whether or not I spelled something wrong. So, what's your honest opinion? Age difference really matters when you're as young as they are. Do you really think they can beat the 6th graders? Uh, the best option to say here is as long as we believe in them. A coach has to believe in her team. And they've all trained so hard, too. He'll be fine, right? After all, they learned from us. Oh, then why am I feeling so nervous? It's gonna be okay. I'm sure they can win. Come to think of it, I should have asked you to write the challenge letter. 
I probably should have used bigger words. Ugh, I'll be so embarrassed if those sixth graders laugh at it. Yuko and I walked home together. All right, it's time. Let's get going. Shouldn't we talk about this some more? I still think this is a bad idea. How are you scared of ghosts, but totally fine with this? Because stuff you can't see is way creepier. Actually, I'm more worried about the things I can see, like bats and knives. I love that line. <laughs> Big deal. So it's a little dangerous. Come on, let's strike while the iron's hot. Strike? Yep, strike hard. You're actually excited about this? I like the idea that Makoto is apathetic towards most things, but he sees like we're going into something dangerous and he's like, oh yeah, so cool. Anyways, now we have uh, Junpei and Takeba following us around. It's very funny to just like watch them desperately try to keep up with us. I'm so easily entertained. Yo. You guys going out at this hour? I don't know what you're up to, but just avoid going anywhere dangerous. Nobody tell him. Precisely. Uh, are all three of you heading out together? Take care not to get injured. Don't. Nobody tell her either. We don't have fast travel because this is important plot stuff. The hell you kids doing out here this late? You delay what's get, get lo keep loitering in the wrong place and getting up at, to God knows what. Whichever one of your gang wears the heavy clothes that covers that tattoos, tell him I got my eye on him. Now scram, I'll call the cops. Oh, it's the dream team. Sheesh, you guys are always together. What's up? Hold on, you're not really going to Port Island Station right now, are you? Haven't you heard the reports? It's super unsafe. Wait, seriously? Man, going to a place like this at late at night is not so easy for a guy uh, for a stand-up guy like me. Jeez. Would you stop complaining already? It'll be nothing. All we have to do is take the monorail to the station. What's so hard about oh, that? Uh, that's not exactly what I meant by not easy. You know, Yucatan might actually be scarier than the punks we're bound to run into. The hell are these guys? Check out those rags. They're from Gecko High. Oh man, this is even worse than I thought. You must have taken a wrong turn. Cause this place ain't for you, buddy. Uh, well, uh, I... What I'm saying is, you being here is ruining our vibe. Beat it, goatee. Goatee? Oh, you <laughs> mean me. We don't need your permission to be here. Hey! Are you nuts? Read the room, won't you? I can read just fine. Come on! Don't be intimidated by these punks. What'd you just say? She just called us punks. Come on! Let's post some pictures that'll make her daddy cry. Hope you've been practicing your sexy poses. <laughs> oh boy, that's too good. These guys are scum. Oh, so now we're scum, huh? What? Man, I feel It'll sorry for you, goatee. This bitch is a real pain in the ass, isn't she? That's enough. They didn't know what they were getting into. I'll make sure they leave. You good with that? Who do you think you are, dumbass? They're not walking out of this. You want some too? It'll be fine. Ah, shit! Son of a bitch! You just crossed the line. You think you're going home alive now? Should we find out? Ah. Uh, no, or maybe not. 
Oh, man. What a loser. Bastard. Your name's Aragaki, right? Yeah. Now I remember. Shinjiro Aragaki. You're from Gecko High, too, aren't you? Damn it, you're gonna regret this! Oh man, Senpai! That was awesome! I remember you. You guys were in Aki's room at the hospital. You idiots. Go home. You don't belong here. Wait! It'll be fine. Sorry, but there's something we need to know before we leave. Did Aki tell you to come here? No, he didn't. <laughs> well, what do you want to know? Is this about that ghost story? <laughs> yes, that's right! How'd you know? The rumor's been going around. Those girls who wound up in the hospital were here talking shit every night. They'd brag about all the stuff they did to some girl named Niyamagishi. Yamagishi? You mean Fuka Yamagishi from 2E? They were picking on her? That's why people are saying it's Yamagishi's ghost that did it. Yamagishi-san's ghost? Wait, what do you mean by that? It'll be fine. You guys don't know? This Yamagishi girl might be dead. I heard she hasn't been home in over a week. Wait, what? I thought she was just out recovering, so... You mean she's still missing? So much for that ghost story. Mr. Akota is the homeroom teacher for 2E, right? Does he know about this? I get it, Aki. So trying to make up for the past. Hmm. It's you who can't let go. Huh? Nothing. Anyways, it's all I know. We done here? Yeah, totally. Thanks a lot. Come on. Show some appreciation. You really saved us. Just don't come around here again. Thank you for helping us. And for sharing what you know. That was really nice of you. Huh? Oh, uh, sorry. Just don't come here again. Aragaki is so cool. Dude, I'm drenched in cold sweat. But man, what Aragaki-san told us was shocking, huh? Oh. I'll let Kurijo-senpai know what we found about Yamagishi-san. The fact that she's missing is no small matter. Man, we're totally gonna get yelled at for doing that without permission. I can already see it happening. I've been playing uh, Yakuza 0 recently, uh, which is another game that's uh, published by Sega. And... Like, going into the alley, like, it made me think of, like, what is it, like, a Blood Rush attack or something like that? Um, but with, uh, Aragaki? Seriously, going to a place like that, there are limits to how reckless you can be. I mean, I'm proud of you guys for trying to gather more information, but be a little more careful next time. Yamagishi has disappeared. It began with a ghost story, but it has developed into a serious situation. We have to do something. Very interesting how, like... With the remake especially, Sonata is sort of just this, like, meathead who rushes into battle the second that he gets the chance without caring, but still, like, in this moment, he's like, come on, guys, like, your safety was in jeopardy. Really cool of him. I told you it wasn't a good idea to go there, dude. If our if our gaki san hadn't helped us, who knows what would have happened to us. Uh, actually, one thing about Makoto Yuki is he can, uh, hold himself in a fight. In fact, I think he does, like, he does get kind of lippy with the guys in the alley, and they take a couple swings at him, and he dodges a bit, and he's super cool. Uh, I'm just getting an ulcer thinking about it. I said I was sorry, I didn't think it would be that bad. Well, now you know, next time I have a little more faith in what I say. Anyways, there's no way in hell I'm ever setting foot in that place again. Hey! That guy actually looked kind of scary, but he was actually really nice, don't you think? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Well, I can't judge a book by its cover and all that, but what was he doing at that place? Who knows? Uh, off screen, when I was searching around for stuff, I, I did run into a person saying uh, that there was some like mysterious guy who would come by that alley and just like sit alone. That's presumably Aragaki. 
Anyways, business as usual. Uh, one uh, interesting thing about the original Persona 3 is that if you uh, cheat, um, like if you plug in hacks and stuff like that to get yourself like a better Persona or something like that, uh, Mitsuru will actually get mad at you. She'll be like, hey, you're a cheater. Well, hey, Courage, level 4, awesome. But yeah, she'll be like, hey, you're a cheater. What the hell's wrong with you? And stuff like that. Like, she doesn't say that exactly, but she says something more Mitsuru-like. Like, unacceptable, you have to be punished, or something like that. I'll link a video. I'll link a. I'll link to a video of it in the description. Text message. Miyamoto, I actually do want to hang out with you because... Uh, you, we can't level you up at the moment. By the way, wouldn't it be funny if, if all my knee problems turned out to be growing pains? But honestly, I don't want to get any bigger than I am right now. It's not like I'm gonna go into pro wrestling. Oh, and you can have my rice if you want. Here, take it. I'm trying to cut down on carbs. You prefer bread? Huh? Well, you think I'm a bread guy just because I don't want my rice? You know, I honestly was not expecting you to say that. Didn't take you for a jokester. Ugh, oh, damn it, I really do want some rice, uh, just having it right in front of me is torture. No, I gotta snap out of it. This is the perfect mental training. Go ahead and eat it, Yuki. Come on, just shovel it down. After finishing my meal under Miyamoto's watch, I headed back to the dorm. So yeah, we'll definitely be able to hang out with him uh, next time that we wanna. Oh, it's you. Welcome back. Yuki, could you free up your day tomorrow for me? There's a lot to be done for Fuku Yamagishi's case, so I'm gonna require your assistance. If you have any urgent affairs, then I suggest you settle them by the end of today. So yeah, we're approaching the next full moon, meaning that, most likely, something crazy is gonna happen. So thank you guys all so much for watching. In the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and see what that crazy thing is. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye! Oh.